Global Green Living. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 290. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 290, October 14, 2018 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs, sustainable teacher demonstration hubs, as a pathway to global sustainability. And on that note, today what I'd like to talk about is global green living. Because one community believes that if we can make sustainability and sustainable living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own, then we can create a world that is sustainable. We can create a world that meets the needs of every single person on this planet. We have the ability to do this. We have the ability to live regeneratively and regenerate our ecosystem. We have the ability to support, provide enough food, energy, and housing for every single person on this planet if we adopt global, global green living practices. And so one community, everything that you see happening in the background here of the video is what one community has been working on for the last eight years to create these global green living practices. Seven sustainable village models, an open source education model, uh, open source fulfilled living practices, social architecture, uh, highest good economic models. We're covering everything, food, energy, housing. All these foundations are being put together as an evolution of sustainability and built so that it can be implemented as either complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, or hubs, or, and you can see what some of these look like happening in the background, or as individual components. Somebody could build a shipping container home instead. They wouldn't necessarily need the housing, the sorry, the, the energy infrastructure or the food infrastructure. They could just build the house if they want, or an earth bag home, or a cob home, or a compressed earth home. Or maybe they just want to grow a sustainable garden, or maybe they just want to implement part of the education program. Everything that we're doing has been developed so it can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete model put together. And one community, the place, is meant to be a place that people will be able to visit, experience everything that it is that we're creating, and to take the components that they like the most and implement them in their lives the way that they want. And because it is all open source and free shared, these global green living uh, principles, foundations, and components are meant to provide something for everybody. That's the idea because it's all open source and free shared. It can be adapted and implemented in whatever way that you want or changed completely. And we hope contributed back to the global uh, suite of open source resources and tools so that others have more and more options. And in doing this, building this foundation for global green living built on open source tools and resources and technology so that people can use it the way that they want, change it the way they want, because it's all created on a foundation for the highest good of all life on this planet. We believe that that's a step in the right direction. Even if somebody wants to commercialize it or take it in a completely different direction, even if they don't agree with our goals for global sustainability, because everything that we're creating has been created with the, the goal of creating for the highest good of all life on this planet, we think that foundation is a successful launching point for steps in the right direction. And so we're an all-volunteer team creating this. And everything that we're doing, the global green living philosophy that we have adopted is to do what's right for everybody on the planet and everything on the planet. Because if we can create a sustainable planet within our lifetime, and the numbers show that we can, if we succeed in creating this self-replicating model and demonstrate it as one community, a place that will host eventually hundreds of thousands of people annually, we have the ability to regenerate this planet. We have the ability to create for the first time, arguably for the first time in human history, except when there weren't enough humans to really be causing any challenges globally, we could create a world that works for everybody. You know, we can address all of the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come through this model, 
And so this is why One Community is dedicated to it. This is why we think it is really the most noble and most exciting adventure of my lifetime and the lifetime of everybody on our team and something worth investing our time and energy in. And as I said, we're an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization. So I'm not paid for what I'm doing. Nobody on our team is paid for what we're doing. We're doing this because we want to live this way, because we believe in a sustainable planet that benefits all people, because we were saddened by seeing the number of children that are dying every single day, the people that, the social injustice and equality, the wars, everything that's happening right now. We can solve these problems if we make them our number one priority, and we think that a win-win-win solution is the key to that. We said it in other past videos, it's been a while since I've talked about it, but it's almost like self selfish philanthropy, selfish humanitarianism, giving more of what people want and need in their lives in a way that also benefits their friends and family, contributing with them, their local communities, their national communities, and the global community as well. Working together is a global cooperative, a global uh, collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs, creating a sustainable world that benefits everybody. Win, 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 win. Win for the individual, win for industry and and uh, the economic systems as well, Live win for their local communities and the global community, and of course, win for the planet. Win for everybody. And this is what we're doing, creating something for everyone, doing our best to create something for everybody with the idea of global green living spreading and creating a sustainable world that will benefit everyone. This is what we're up to. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress accomplishments working towards this goal of global green living. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued the web page setup and formatting for the new One Community Home Shares page that shares our structure for individualized and expanded designs of the standard homes in the Earth Bay Village and beyond. This week, we added more formatting and wrote and added the home shares in layman's terms and home shares and housing upgrade sections, which you can see here. We'd say we're now 90% complete with the creation of this page. Heyman Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 23rd week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was creating this open source soil identification and classification tool. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 25th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, he further developed the 6.4 to 6.8 diagrams, tried different hinge strategies to attach the table and chairs, and added the leveling graphics and details throughout. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earthbreak Village. Here's weekly update 133 from Dean. His focus this week was creating version 1 of our ADA-compliant bathroom and kitchen layout, integrating the latest regular bathroom and kitchen layout into the three-dome cluster, and plan the next round of revisions, all of which you can see here. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, additionally completed his 27th week helping with render additions. This week, he created this first-generation Earthbag Village render by adding people, plants, and other details. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team started updating the 3D SketchUp file to include the new dome designs. What you see here are this week's structural updates to the duplicable city center dining dome roof. And the core team working with Dipti Dondecker, electrical engineer, continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 98th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was more additions and updates to the calculations spreadsheet, organizing all the Dialux files for sharing now that we're done with them, and adding in the missing Sunrise Patio and AutoCAD, all of which you can see here. The core team also finished updating the Pallet Furniture Open Source Hub by adding new 3D closet wardrobe graphics and finalizing the summary and FAQ sections. You can see some of this work here. And the core team continued adding the lead heating and air conditioning details to the City Center HVAC design page. 
This week, we added more content to the LEED HVAC-related energy and atmosphere credits explained section and developed the first half of the LEED HVAC-related indoor environmental quality credits explained section. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say this brings the addition of these details to 70% complete. Doa Feng, civil engineer, also completed his 24th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Open Source Hub. This week, he changed the stem pipe location in the living room, extended the fire hydrant piping to supply a fire hydrant south of the social dome too, and updated all the spreadsheet calculations for zones H, G, L, and I. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we completed edits to the food forest page and the aquaculture section of the food rollout Google Doc. You can see some of this work here. In addition, the core team continued working on the apiary hive setup instructions. This week, we finalized the setup details for a six hive initial launch. You can see some of this work shown here on our behind the scenes Google development doc. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, continued collaboration on our evolving online marketing strategy and our related grant. This week's focus was researching new ad formats, which you can see here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also joined the marketing team and began helping with the keyword research for the landing pages related to structural engineering volunteers, civil engineers, and volunteer plumbers, some of which you can see here. This week, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Samya Manahar, Shubhar Mittal, and Ashwarya Singh continued developing the software. This week, they finished the setup documentation, connected the React app to projects, restructured the app to have the services layer separately, tried implementing the user deletion option, and started researching resources to support our transition of this software from Ember to React. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is how one community is working towards the goal of global and green living for everybody. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, or our website. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to any of our social media channels and manage and follow uh, our updates that way. We are on all the different social media channels to make this easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Tumblr, uh, Reddit, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information, to share our information. And that is the number one easiest thing that you can do to help us out. Give a like to this video, uh, share our information on social media, help us get the word out, help us to continue to spread the word, get the information out there so that more and more people have access to it. And, uh, 
And if you'd like to help in more detailed ways or more integrated ways, then visit our helping page. We've got lots of different ways to help there as well. If you're somebody who's donated to our project, thank you. We're all unpaid volunteers. As I said before, I'm not paid and neither is anybody else on our team. So if you've donated to us, 100% of your donations go to our, towards our open source goals and mission, not to paychecks. And of course, if you just watched to the end, well, hey, thanks for that too. Every little bit makes a difference, and we are really grateful just for any support that you're giving, including if it's just watching through our videos and paying attention to what it is that we're doing. So with that, all, all that said, uh, until next week, thanks for following our progress, and we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.